Hello, and thank you for taking the time to view this Trelligence Affinity video. My name is Melissa Steiner, and I'm the Marketing Director here at Trelligence. It's my pleasure to provide you with this brief overview of Trelligence Affinity functional design software. Throughout the demo, I will walk you through the core modules of Affinity, programming, design, and design validation. Trelligence Affinity software is used as a starting point for BIM projects. It provides a complete software solution for architectural programming, conceptual and schematic design, BIM integration, design validation, and real-time reporting. The integrated tools in Affinity enable project teams to streamline workflows, saving time and money. Affinity also helps to preserve industry, client, and firm standards through reusable templates. Affinity is available as a full suite of integrated tools and as individual modules which help firms to customize their Affinity package based on specific needs. The core modules are Affinity Programming, Affinity Design, and Affinity Design Validation. Depending on what type of projects you work on and your team's process, you may also be interested in adding on Manufacturers, Affinity Viewer, and CloudBridge modules. Let's begin by discussing the Affinity Programming tools. Affinity can capture and track complex program data from client spreadsheets or through direct entry into the Affinity program view. The program is set up in a spreadsheet-like format that is easy to use. The Affinity views enable project teams to view data in multiple ways, including the spreadsheet, relationships diagram, or formatted report. Here is the sample space program for a simple office building. This view can be edited through user-friendly dialogues or edited directly by double-clicking in any cell. The tabs mimic browsers and enable users to view multiple versions of the same information at once for comparison or to view the information with different properties. This view can be customized to show any properties in the program as column headings. The right-click menu enables users to quickly search and select from the available properties. You can also open different tabs for access to multiple views of the project. For instance, I could open a relationships diagram for a department, the story layout view, and a space program report. You can also right-click on any of the departments, sub-departments, or rooms to open them up as new tabs. When you open up a room, you'll be able to see or create a room layout. This layout is saved in the program both as a visual layout and as a list of components. You can choose to only create a list of components if you prefer, or leave the room bare. To create a layout, simply drag and drop items from the library section of the left panel and begin to lay out the spaces. This is especially helpful for projects where specific room layouts are an essential part of the program, like hospital rooms or hotels. The Affinity Program items can also be seen graphically in the Relationships diagram. Shapes are sized automatically according to the program and can be displayed as circles, rectangles, or rounded rectangles. The focus in and out icons show different levels of the diagram, the building, department, subdepartments, or spaces. Relationships are easily added or deleted by selecting two spaces and choosing from the relationship options in the right-click menu. When you add a relationship, it also creates a corresponding requirement in the program that is automatically tracked and managed by Affinity. If your project calls for sustainability analysis, you will benefit from Affinity's integration with IES VE Gaia and VE Navigator for Lead. The integration allows project teams to test sustainability options in the program phase, so the program and design are developed with sustainability as a priority from the beginning. This saves significant rework, which is common when sustainability tests are put off until the design phase. The Affinity Design section is an easy-to-use schematic design tool that enables you to drag and drop program items directly into the 2D layout view. This links the design with the program data and allows Affinity to compare the design with the program requirements. If you have a layout set up in the program, as I did earlier, it will be placed into the design with the furnishings, which saves time and ensures the layout in the design is consistent with the required layout in the program. However, it is not fixed, so the designer can rearrange the layout if necessary. As you arrange spaces in the design view, Affinity assists with alignment tools, which you can see here. Green lines indicate the walls are lined up, and the circle indicates when the corners are touching. 
I have used the details pane on the right a little earlier. This pane is available in all views. It contains properties, requirements, components, and notes for anything selected in the open view. While in the design, the requirements tab provides easy access to adjacency requirements, which help to guide the designer and ensure spaces are placed in accordance with the relationships set in the program. Any discrepancies are highlighted in red and cleared when the appropriate changes are made in the design. You will notice that the items in the Space Program section of the panel are color-coded. The coding indicates whether the design is over, under, or equal to the required square footage or quantity of spaces. Blue font means that the design exceeds the program requirement, and red font indicates that the quantity or area of the space is under the program requirement. The number in parentheses next to each item is called a counter. It shows the difference between the design and program. As I drag and drop items into the view, you will see the counters adjust automatically. The goal is for all counters to equal zero. The shape of each item can also be adjusted by dragging any of the sides. You can hold the shift key down to maintain the area, or create custom shapes by holding down the alt key and clicking the shape. This allows you to create multiple pull points or use curved walls. You can also enter dimensions manually in the properties tab. Throughout the design process, Affinity automatically analyzes the design for any discrepancies with the program requirements. In addition to the counters in the Space Program section of the panel, you can also see red violations in the Space Program view when you click on the caution symbol. You can also view the exact difference by choosing the program to actual view from the pull-down, and you can see which spaces have already been placed in the design by selecting the eye icon, which shows the matching items. In addition to the 2D design view, you may also choose to view the design as a stacking diagram of the buildings or in 3D. The stacking diagram allows you to arrange the building vertically by dragging and dropping departments or groups on a story in the stacking view. You can rearrange the diagram by moving the elements between stories or stack a section at the top to create a new story. A stacking diagram can also be generated automatically based on program data and a building footprint size before the design is available. Select the 3D space plan to view the massing of the building or story. You can choose from three view options by selecting the related icon for floors, volume, or walls. For more information on particular spaces in the building, you can select any room and see the related properties in the details pane. If you would like to edit the building in 3D, you can select Edit with SketchUp. Any adjustments in SketchUp will update the Affinity building in real time. Within SketchUp, you can also add textures for quick, realistic renderings. The Affinity SketchUp integration is bidirectional. So if you already have a SketchUp model, you can also load it into Affinity and continue the design from there. See the SketchUp demo on our website for more information. Affinity bridges the gap between the early program and design phases and the design development in Revit or ARCHICAD through bidirectional integration that streamlines the BIM process, automating the handoff between program and design teams. Affinity's design validation tools also run throughout the detailed design to ensure the final design meets the client's requirements. View the Revit videos on our website for more information. Affinity delivers a number of reports that update in real time as the program and design change. You can customize the structure and format of reports to fit your company branding. For instance, you can change font type and color, add your own logo or a client's logo, change the organization of data, and select what type of information you would like to show. Any information or view available in Affinity can be put into a report. You can even embed a Revit room layout into the room datasheet report. In addition to the core modules, Affinity add-on modules are also available. Affinity Manufacturers provides users with an extensive list of manufacturers for detailed equipment management and tracking. Affinity CloudBridge delivers online access to the Affinity repository from any browser and device. It enables the exchange of data through import and export functions, 
the ability to run reports, perform queries, and the latest update introduces the ability to use web forms to input project data in a structured format. This is especially helpful when collecting project information and requirements from clients. The Affinity Viewer provides third-party access to project data in a read-only mode, so customers and partnering companies can review reports, project data, and designs. To learn more about how Affinity can enhance your project workflow, please take a look at the other videos on our website and contact us to set up a one-on-one -on -one demo with one of our Trelligence consultants. Thank you for taking the time to view this demo. We look forward to speaking with you soon.